Hi guys, my name is Layla Sophia. I am an artist and fine jewelry designer. If you like contemporary fine jewelry, if you like luxury handbags, all things interiors, and I have some fun videos for you. Today, you guys, I've seen a couple of these videos and I wanted to do my own, a very artsy way of saying the most functional bags in my collection Form follows function. If you guys are new here, thank you so, so much for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in all of my future videos. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Layla Sophia Jewelry. I put out videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, and so I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. I picked out five bags. I was very, I thought about this a lot. And then I had a bonus because you guys are already gonna know. It's a bonus and it's new to me. I think my most functional bag, however, is going to shock you guys because I was shocked. Coming in at number one, my most functional bag, not all of these are, I think, beautiful in my opinion, but not exactly thinking about like, oh my God, this is my prettiest bag. Oh my gosh, this is the jewel of my collection. Pure, pure functionality. I, I think this is gonna shock you. This. My most functional bag is the Magda Boutram Maya bag. Moment of silence for how shocked I was. This bag is like, I say this all the time, I love a Mary Poppins bag. This bag looks so unassuming. The only reason why it's a little scary is because it's in this cream color, but it comes in black. So I'm kind of not factoring in the color because so far so good on my end, but you can buy this exact same bag in black and it will be the most functional bag you've ever had in your entire life. The shoulder drop is perfect. It's perfect for me. I am plus size, I am large, I am tall. It's very hard for me to find, especially, thank God, we're kind of like, not style wise, but like literal just functionality wise. Thank God we're kind of moving away from the Y2K because nothing fit me for like five years that was available, AKA like the Fendi Baguette bag. It goes in a lot of, you know, on the internet, you see it going over shoulders, not on me. This drop, perfect. You see this cute little slouch that it's getting, perfect. The bottom is so spacious, so roomy. I can fit so much in here and what makes it functional over just fitting a lot, which I have a couple bags back there that I'll show you in a second, is that it's flat to the body. And it, even though it's wide, the fact that she tapered the sides doesn't make it feel big. This bag is so, so incredible. My next most functional bag is, you know, what a lot would call possibly one of the prettiest. I love this bag so, so much. None other than, ladies and gentlemen, my vintage Hermes Kelly. Her name is Prince. I love her so, so, so much. The reason why this is so functional is because I added a shoulder strap, AKA crossbody strap. I think as per normal, as everybody would probably <laughs> experience and I know does experience, for the first like four-ish months of this bag, it was winter time also when I got her, so maybe it wasn't the right season. I was like, okay, it's gonna be okay. It's a vintage bag, we wear our stuff, don't be scared. But you know, it's the most I've ever spent on a bag and so I was like, it's okay, we got this. The second, I kind of flipped that switch and was like, F that, I bought her to be used. Not only did I wear her all the time, but I was like, what does this bag not do? Like this bag fits everything. It fits anywhere from a small water bottle to like multiple pairs of sunglasses. You know, I wear glasses, glasses, so I'll put my sunglasses and my optical glasses. I can put so much in here that I'm so, so grateful I went for the 32 size. Eventually, sure, it would be lovely to get a 28 or 25 to kind of pop around town with. Again, on vacation, I took this and truly I was like, you know on vacation you just like stuff more in your bag than you like would on a normal basis or you're like picking up souvenir cards, you get a museum, you get a little math thing. Like I put so much in here and I was like, wow, this is not only the most gorgeous, beautiful, buttery vintage Hermes bag, but she is a functional gal. The strap getting in and out of this is so easy. It seems a lot easier to close, to have the option to close at least than the Birkin. So it's really nice to have the security of being able to just like let the sangles hang and close it with the little clasp on top, but also leave it open for easy access. My next most functional bag, I wonder if you guys have any guesses because there's only one reason 
why it wasn't number one, and that's because the cross there is an option for a crossbody bag strap, but it's very long and it is a little awkward. I do have to admit that. But of all other reasons, it's like it would have been number one. My the row double circle bag show it in its all of its amazing glory. This is I'm you have no idea how grateful I am that I bought this bag over a year ago. This is like one of the best bags in my collection. I talk about all the time. I have been wearing this. First of all, it came to me very worn, but she is now like, as I'm looking at her, even more worn than I realized. She is so, 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 so worn because I have been using this as my weekender bag. Not only as my weekender bag, but like, if I have to pop up town to get some things, if I need paperwork, if I need anything like that, Paper fits in here, my laptop fits in here. I put multiple, not just an overnight amount of clothes in here. Shoes might be the one thing. You could probably add like a very thin pair of shoes, but this bag for all intents and purposes is the most amazing, amazing bag. The leather, we all know how much I love the row, okay? The row's leather, I'm sorry, it's kind of really hard to beat. I won't say it's the best because I know everybody has their arguments and you know, I haven't bought every single brand in the world, but it's, it's amongst the best, I will tell you. The only downside is that the handles right here, as you guys can see, there's like a metal, very heavy, hefty metal bar in them. If I do have a lot of stuff, it just, it, it gets a little heavy. On your hands, it's totally fine. If you put it on your arm like this and you're carrying it with more than like the daily normal stuff that you put on, when I put my laptop in here and I put it over my forearm, I'm like, ooh, this is kind of painful. That's the only reason, but you could also just perfectly hold it with your hands. I love this bag, truly, you have no idea. I love this bag. This one is next because I just figured out that my Celine 16 strap that I got off of Amazon fits on her. And like, I'm shocked, I'm shocked. My vintage Lady Dior bag that I literally just got this week is like, why did nobody tell me that this is like one of the best bags in the world? This is one of the best bags in the world. It is so perfect. It is so functional. It fits so much. Currently, again, I'm wearing it again today. I think I've worn it every single day this week. I did my like very crazy jewelry errands yesterday. I wore this the whole day and I was like, so glad I pulled the trigger finally on this bag. You know, I've already talked to a bunch of you guys who were like, oh my God, true. I thought the same thing. I thought the lady door was too ladylike, whatever, too proper, too prim. I am here to tell you like, no, it's not just pretty. It's so functional. The zipper, asked, again, I really have all my stuff in here. The zipper part, first of all, this zipper on the vintage ones is so chunky, so heavy, it's so easy. And then it makes it really, really nice to secure. And the zipper kind of like tucks in on itself. So it's not even bouncing around everywhere. The hardware is not that loud unless you're like literally bouncing up and down. You can barely hear it. The handles are so hefty. The fact that it has these rings, oh my gosh, like I just had no idea what I was missing. They don't even flap that easily. I literally had to push that down. It kind of stands up by itself. It's thinner than a bag that I'm gonna get to as my bonus. And so if you do have a strap for it, like the one that I just put on, it sits really nicely against your body. It's not too bulky. This bag, the unicorn bag, I never knew I needed. I am so, so happy that I now have her. This is my last of my five, and then I do have a bonus for you guys, because I can't help but give you a bonus. From Bottega Veneta, the shoulder pouch in the smaller size, not the gigantic shoulder bag size. This bag, along with my Lady Dior, like this, it just happens sometimes when like, you're not really maybe expecting like the best results and it's just really pretty and you kind of want one. And then you realize that this is an insanely functional, very durable bag. The only reason why she's last on the list besides my bonus is because again, as a larger person, I wish this like fit flushly over my shoulder because sometimes I really like, otherwise you really do have to hold it as a crook of the arm or just over top here. Even just now I was like, whoops, I have some deodorant stains from when I've been running around and did put it over my shoulder, which it's Bottega leather, so it'll rub right off. But 
I wish it fit over my shoulder. That's the only thing. Otherwise, this is the bag that I like. It took on me with like my longest vacation last year to Europe and to Morocco. I love this bag so much. The color makes it so durable. My lighter Bottega bags, I just worry a little bit. She's my like medium dark category of the colors that I have. And it's so stunning. It's so perfect. It fits, it smushes up, and then it still never loses its shape. The leather just keeps getting better and better. It's so durable. Like, could not recommend this bag enough. And my bonus for you guys, because how could I neglect my baby? My Celine 16, which shout out to Mary. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Mary from Mary's Room just got the same one. And I'm like, I, you have no idea. I was like, oh my God, we need to go on a date and have our matching bags. I'm so excited. Nerding out for one second. This is, I said this when I got it and I truly like, I still stand by this. This bag is the most me bag in my collection. Doesn't have to mean it's the prettiest, doesn't have to mean it's the most functional. It just feels like me and I love her so much. You guys know I got this for an insane price on eBay using the Authenticity Guarantee Program. Honestly, I did compromise on several things. It was very, very, very worn. Some of the little kind of corners are coming up and there is a very large scratch on the back. But the biggest thing that I compromised on is that it didn't come with a strap. And so that's the one reason why it's not as functional. Again, I have my strap from Amazon. That's like, you know, it kind of bothers me sometimes, it's a, which is why I'm not showing it right now. It's a little thick and I have a larger chest. And so I like a thinner strap that can kind of like, this is weird, but they kind of like sit in the middle of my chest, if you guys know what I mean. This bag is so beautiful. The only reason why it's a bonus and not on the actual list is because of how kind of chunky she is in the middle, which we love here. The thing that I have realized is that for me, this is a very me thing, and so it doesn't have to be for everybody. For me, again, because I'm larger, I'm very curvy, things don't like sit flat against me. I don't have a flat stomach. And so when things are curvy on top of my curves, it makes them a little bit bulky. Something like my Hermes bag, the Maya bag, all of the bags that I talked about previously, especially the Dior, they're just a little slimmer. And so when they're on my belly, they don't like come out even more. They just fit very perfectly. That's my only, only thing with this bag. Otherwise she would have been like, number two or number one. What fits in here is everything. Like truly, you can fit so much in here. Having, I know it's so silly, I like sound like such a boring adult. Having that zipper middle compartment, I'm like, ugh, I can be safe at the same time. The only other reason, again, just as of, you know, functionality purposes is that like, I can't fit a water bottle in here. I can't fit papers in here, but for all intents and purposes, this is just like truly my baby and I love her so much. You guys, that has been form following function, not caring about, you know, the visual components. These are my most functional bags and I love them so, so much. I've done the wear testing for you guys. So go out, go forth and prosper. Take with that what you will. As always, I'm so grateful for you guys watching and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys.